Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever woken up to find your website down, or discovered broken pages right after a big campaign, you know that feeling of panic. Today, we're checking out a tool that promises to take that stress away. It's called Oh Dear, a complete website monitoring platform built for professionals who care about uptime, performance, and reliability. So, let's dive in and see if Oh Dear really lives up to its name and if it's worth adding to your web stack. Oh Dear is an all-in-one monitoring platform that keeps an eye on your websites, not just uptime, but also SSL certificates, broken links, scheduled tasks, DNS health, and more. It's built for developers, agencies, and businesses that want early warnings before their users even notice a problem. What makes it stand out is its simplicity, it combines the reliability of enterprise-grade monitoring with a very clean, human-friendly dashboard. But before we talk features, let's figure out who should actually be using this tool. If you're a developer, DevOps engineer, digital agency, or even a solo website owner, oh dear. Gives you peace of mind 24-7, getting started is super easy, once you sign up, just add your domain, and oh dear. Automatically start scanning everything, uptime, SSL, redirects, broken links, cron jobs, and more. You can view detailed status reports right from the dashboard or receive alerts via email, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Discord, or even webhooks so you never miss a thing. Now, let's break down what really makes oh dear. Worth your attention, its features. First up, uptime monitoring, oh dear. Checks your websites every minute from multiple locations worldwide. If your site goes down, it alerts you instantly, then there's certificate monitoring. No more expired SSL surprises, oh dear. Let's you know before your certificates expire. Third, broken link detection. It crawls your entire website and reports any dead links, helping you maintain a clean and professional web presence. Fourth, cron job scheduled task monitoring. If you're running automated scripts or back-end processes, oh dear. Make sure they actually run when they should. And finally, performance application health checks, you can measure response times, HTTP status codes, and even integrate it with your CI slash CD pipeline for continuous feedback. What's great is that everything is presented in a beautifully designed dashboard easy to read, fast to navigate, and surprisingly friendly for such a technical product. Of course, all these features come at a cost, so let's take a quick look at the pricing. Oh dear. Keeps it straightforward, pricing starts at 17 euros per month, which gives you monitoring for up to 5 sites, they also offer higher tiers if you're managing multiple projects or need advanced API access, compared to other tools like Pingdom or Uptime Robot Pro, it's very competitive, especially considering all the extra layers of monitoring included. Now let's talk about the good and the not so good, every tool has both. Pros, super clean and modern interface, deep monitoring beyond just uptime, SSL, DNS, broken links, cron jobs, reliable alerts through multiple channels, great documentation and responsive support, built for developers with API and team collaboration in mind. Cons, might be overkill for small personal blogs, no free plan, only a 10-day trial. Pricing in euros could be a bit tricky for US users, but overall, oh dear. Feels like one of those tools that you don't realize you need until it saves you from a disaster. So to wrap up, oh dear, is a polished, developer-friendly monitoring solution that helps you stay ahead of website issues if uptime, performance, and user experience matter to your business, this is absolutely a tool worth testing out. I've left a link in the description below where you can explore oh dear yourself and start your free trial, check it out and see how it fits into your workflow. As always, if you found this review helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more tool reviews every week, and let me know in the comments what monitoring tools you're currently using. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.